Theodore My Grunwald. My name is Theodore Grunwald. Uh, I am, uh, by avocation, education, uh, 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 an architect, but sadly not uh, by, uh, by in practice. Um, I um, am here to speak today uh, about the architectural and cultural impacts of the uh, CLP. And I'm very grateful to you, uh, Chair Kilner, and uh, all the members of the Assembly for opening this up. This is a discussion of vital importance. I, I do have a couple of exhibits. Um, is that easel still around? Uh, I'm not sure. We still have what? I believe it was theirs. If, you know, maybe, Helen, maybe you can hold it up for him. There's been a lot of discussion about Things. Well, hang on one second, Theodore. We can't hear you if you're not on the mic. So why don't we ask Helen to hold those up for you and you speak? Okay. All right. Um, and here's the other. Show it to them. Show it to the camera. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a lot of discussion uh, about the stacks, and uh, this is what the stacks look like um, on on uh, on the right, uh, or in the camera's left, uh, the seven levels of book stacks underneath the main reading room. This is actually, um, and also uh, the other image uh, here uh, is the famous Kindred Spirits uh, painting of Asher B. Duran, which was sold by the library uh, for hard, cold hard cash a number of years ago. Um, and these two pictures actually that I'm bringing from the future, because they are in a way from the future, because if this CLP goes through, this is how this painting and the library will be forever remembered. Um, they will be remembered as one of the liminal or the ultimate tragedies of, 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 of our age. Um, so I'd like to begin um, by saying uh, that today, uh, New York, thank you, is at a critical juncture. Uh, will our city morph? as current trends suggest, into a domicile uh, for the global jet set with the needs of other New Yorkers increasingly marginalized? Or will our city be able to retain its epic reputation for diversity and remain a cultural crucible? Uh, today, the members of the Assembly can help decide whether we are consumed or whether we, may, we remain as the creators um, of our city. Um, will New York be able to retain its historic place in the globally competitive marketplace of ideas? Integral to New York's spirit and intellectual standing is our state's possession of one of the three greatest libraries, uh, research libraries in the world. It is not simply the breadth and depth of the collections of the New York Public Library's main branch that rank it with the British National Library and the Bibliothèque Nationale, but their accessibility. The Central Research Library's famous book delivery system strategically places both serious researcher and casual reader alike atop a mountain of books stored in the stacks below, and puts as little time as possible between submitting a call slip and turning the pages of a requested book. Um, this system worked beautifully for 100 years and can work beautifully for another 100 years. And it's a functional arrangement that is famously celebrated as a vast and efficient book delivery machine. Like Yale's Beinecke Library of Gordon Bunshaft and the uh, new uh, Book Mountain project in Rotterdam, and you have images uh, of those uh, in, uh, in my submission, the massed array of book stacks here at the New York Public Library is integral to and inseparable from the building's architecture, both functionally and aesthetically. Destruction of the 42nd Street stacks and removal of the collection stored there to make way for two relocated post-building sale libraries, the Sybil and Mid-Manhattan, um, 
subverts the functional and environmental common sense of locating the core research collections close at hand and puts days, not minutes, between reader and requested materials. The CLP substitutes the high carbon emission New Jersey turnpike for the energy efficient dumb waiters whenever any one of the 1.5 million books relocated to off-site storage in Princeton are requested by readers and thereby must travel to 42nd Street round trip by truck. Um, in order to re retain as much of the collections on site, um, it, it must be stated that there is nothing fundamentally wrong with the stacks. Again, they've served their purpose well for 100 years. And with state-of-the-art fire and temperature controls, could well serve their purpose for another 100 years at, the, at a fraction of the cost of the Central Library project. Uh, books are with us um, as the failure of the mass digitization project of Google um, uh, has proven. And I want to remind everyone in that room, you know, Google did partner with one of the largest libraries in this country. I think it was uh, at the Widener uh, Library at Harvard. Uh, to digitize every book. And as everyone knows, a few years ago, uh, that uh, crashed on the shoals of, of copyright. Um, the orphaned works that were um, at issue uh, in that uh, project um, were successfully uh, withheld uh, from the digitization project over the copyright issue. and. This fantasy of every book being available digitally is not going to happen in our any time in our lifetimes. So these books will be will be with us for a while, and it's important to note, uh, furthermore, that uh, these books. Um, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to go on just to one other point. Um, the structurally innovative stacks designed by the systems inventor, Bernard R. Green, are considered by architectural historians to be historically important engineering achievement in and of themselves. And in concert with the rest of the building, are accorded National Historic Landmark designation. Their destruction drains the landmark designated library of its, of its expressive power, architectural integrity, and its historic significance. With its vertical strips of stack windows diagrammatically arranged directly below the arched openings of the Rose main reading room, the famed exterior representation of the book delivery machine within the landmark designated Bryant Park facade is a clear architectural expression of the functions behind it. A Beaux-Arts masterpiece, Carrere and Hastings building, is more than a marble shell ornamented with magnificent sculpture and carving. The designated exterior is a visible outward expression of an internal idea, without which the facade loses all its meaning. The New York Public Library management uh, has presented to the public no alternative plans whatsoever. This project has been presented as a fait accompli, um, and, and, and as it is more carefully examined, it's obviously a project of last resort. It's a worst case scenario. Um, by halting this misguided Central Library plan now, to consider alternatives, such as retaining and renovating mid-Manhattan, we can not only prevent the short-circuiting of this historically significant and very beautifully efficient book delivery machine, but we can act to protect the architectural integrity of a masterpiece of world architecture. Thank you. <laughs>